Hello and welcome to the world of quality and healthy drinking water. I'm going to present to you the Kinetic Reactor, the world's largest innovation for in-home water purification. What do we gain if we install a Kinetic Reactor onto our faucet? The drinking water from our water systems does not only consist of one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen, but also contains a whole bunch of other elements. Some of them are useful and some of them not so much. Some of them could even be harmful to our health. That is why it is wise and sensible to install the kinetic reactor at your home because it makes the tap water much safer and healthier. How does it work? Let's take a look. In order to get better and cleaner water at home, usually quite a substantial investment and lots of construction work is needed. A team of fitters come to your house and install a big chunk of equipment under your kitchen sink. Even greater investment is needed if you decide to install a central filtration system. For that purpose, you have to sacrifice space in the size of an average washing machine somewhere in your house. Besides that, it takes regular periodical replacing of the filtration inserts. The Kinetic Reactor performs the same job, but in a whole new manner. Installation is a simple job. You do not need any knowledge, special tools or special skills. It will only take you a minute and the very next moment much better water will flow out of your faucet. One of the most irritating problems in your household is limescale. This whitish residue is actually layers of soluble calcium remains which sticks to sinks, faucets, heaters and your dishes. This kind of limescale is very stubborn. Removing it demands lots of chemicals and lots of effort. The Kinetic Reactor solves this problem very elegantly. The limescale to be deposited in a calcite form, a CO2 presence in the water is needed. The Kinetic Reactor, on the other hand, extracts CO2 from the water. Therefore, the ordinary limescale is not formed. It is deposited in an aragonite crystal form instead. It resembles a fine powder, which does not stick to your dishes, heaters, pipes or surfaces. It is also much better for our health. Benefits of extracting dissolved gases out of the water are apparent also in the water's taste and look. Just like when we open a bottle of soda, when lots of gas bubbles rush to the top due to the decreased air pressure, the same phenomenon is responsible for the dissolved gases to be released in the kinetic reactor. As a result, we get much cleaner water with a much better taste. In the kinetic reactor, four physical processes take place in sequence. One of them is oxidation. In a state of a significantly decreased pressure, oxidation can take place. For that reason, heavy metals, which are also dissolved in the water, are getting oxidized. When changed into a state of an oxide, heavy metals are not bioactive and thus not dangerous to our health. All the physical processes that occur in the kinetic reactor are significantly decreasing the number of bacteria in the water. First of all, the vacuum in the vacuum chamber is a very harsh environment for the bacteria. The extremely low pressure blows up the bacteria and makes them more sensitive to the chlorine if it is present in the water, thus increasing its efficacy. Even more harmful to the bacteria is the aftermath of the cavitation process. The hydrojet effect is so powerful that bacteria simply cannot survive it. Hygiene is a great problem for all public water supply systems. Due to the incomplete oxidation of the water, the so-called iron mud is often formed at the top of an ordinary mesh which causes a biofilm to form inside. A biofilm is a great bacteria breeding ground. The most common bacteria culture present is pseudonymous. Due to the powerful oxidation, a biofilm could not be formed inside the kinetic reactor. Water economy is one of the most important advantages of the kinetic reactor. Every piece contains a special Swiss patented 
PCA regulator. It regulates the water flow and makes it more even no matter the pressure inside the water installation. Even though it is not observable at a first glance, Kinetic Reactor saves 33.4% of drinking water on average. Imagine how much water this represents on a yearly basis. Chlorine is being reduced by the Kinetic Reactor due to two reasons. In the vacuum chamber, chlorine is being spent for bacteria elimination, and because chlorine is a gas, it is being extracted in the final stage of the process along with all other gases. You might smell some chlorine in the faucet, but there will be only traces in the water. One of the most important differences between ordinary filtration systems and the kinetic reactor is that the latter does not retain anything. Water is thoroughly physically processed, but nothing is retained inside the filter itself. That's why this technology is much safer. All over the world, countries are changing waste management legislation, including management of the waste filtration inserts of common water filters. In the future, they will have to be deposited in special waste bins and not anymore in regular trash bins like before. This is because those inserts are full of bacteria and other waste materials that were extracted from the water. Because of that reason, such filtration inserts could also be a source of water contamination if not replaced regularly. Because of the warmer environment, the accumulated matter quickly starts fermenting inside the filters. An ordinary carbon filter can effectively purify water, but that only means that every following gallon is being strained through the waste already deposited inside the filter. The manufacturer's instructions on when to replace the filter is only a wild guess and a bad compromise between economy and safety. Because of that, not retaining anything inside is Kinetic Reactor's most important advantage. So, there is not a single argument that would speak against Kinetic Reactor, but there are quite a lot that say you should get yours.